lovely booktube community. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hey. All right. We're here to do a discussion. We are. So let's do it. Hello, everyone, and welcome. If you are here, that is because you want to talk about Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, a book which we have recently read. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game of Tomes. <laughs> Again, this is going to be a spoilery discussion, so if you have not read this book yet, please go watch our review. You can find it linked below. It is the third book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, and we will, sure, why not have yeah. all the videos down there. We have reviewed and discussed the other two books. Yeah, the trilogy. The trilogy. We'll link those below. All right, let's do it. There's a novella called uh, Night of Cake and Puppets, which is 2.5 in the series. We listened to Night of Cake and Puppets before we listened to Dreams of Gods and Monsters. And uh, on the heels of that, I was very pro Zuzana and Mick. So in the beginning, when Mick buys her a ring, I'm like, we're going to see... Yeah. Him proposed to her in this book because it's the last one. I was really excited yeah. when he got the ring because I thought, oh, he's going to propose in this book. And uh, and he did. I'm actually really glad that we read 2.5 before reading this one because it gave me a lot more stronger feelings for Nick and Susanna. <laughs> yeah. Susanna. And As a couple. Yeah. Because, because I really liked Susanna. I did too. But I felt like a... I didn't know Mick at all. Hardly. But, yeah. I mean, he was cute and seemed nice. Yeah, and played the violin. Let us rate, rate it. Oh, yeah. And talk yeah, about yeah. your experience because... I struggled with it. Yeah. yeah. I usually don't listen to many audiobooks. Jessica does, and I just bum off her account. And I actually really struggled with this one. It really affected, like, how I felt about the book because I have a hard time about tuning out audiobooks. I've said it multiple times. And I did the same thing with this one, and I found myself just not really caring about the characters in this book or what was going on in this book. That ended up really affecting my rating of it, but I wanted to be honest in my rating. Yeah. I know if I physically read it, I would have rated it higher. So what would you rate it? I ended up giving it three stars. Yeah. In all honesty, I think if I physically read it, the most it would have got would be four stars. Mm -hmm. I was going to give it four stars. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, you didn't. I did not look and see what you rated it. I didn't give it four stars. I found myself not caring about the characters and I paid attention. I actually really enjoyed the first half. I really liked it like a lot. Yeah. And I was like, I feel like it's four stars right now, but like it could increase up to a five star. Yeah. But it didn't. And actually the ending I felt was like kind of a cop out. Like it was weird. It was yeah. a weird end. Yeah. It wasn't satisfying to me personally. I gave it 3.5 stars actually and I felt like I really liked some parts of it but in other ways I felt like they were giving us information that didn't feel like part of the story like she was like adding on to the mythology and stuff and I'm like this feels like really late for you to be doing this yeah in the first two books I was like what is going on? I want to know more about this and about the mythology and everything behind it. Yeah. And Razgut and his fall. I wanted to know more. And then when it came around in this book, I just found myself going, eh, I don't really care as much anymore. I didn't either. And I felt weird. I felt really bad. Like, there were parts that I really did enjoy. Like, okay, Laraz and Ziri. Oh my gosh. I was like, uh, I could take her and leave it, honestly. Um, I, I really enjoyed that The part. part I really liked was Eliza. I thought she was really weird to me. Really? <laughs> well, because the first chapter is from her point of view, and I was like, who is this girl? What yeah. is it? What? At first, I thought it was that, um, I don't know, she wasn't Kieran, but she was like a Kieran. There was, like, two girls, and one had a broken leg. And oh, 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 I know what you're talking about. The well, Ziri, uh, the little... Dash Nag boy saves yes. them. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking Dash about. Dash Nag. We never you saw them again. again. No. And see, that's the thing. I really enjoy multiple perspectives in a book. Sure, yeah. But I also don't want to get someone's point of view that's not necessarily shown again. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, me too. Like, we got their point of view, so I immediately assumed in the second book, they're going to be... The, something's mm -hmm. going to happen. Something's going to happen. Important. They're going to be characters. But yeah. no. They never were. No. I really like her writing style. I just wanted more. Yeah. And when it came around to finally talking about the stallions, it was just so much build up in the second book, in my opinion, that I thought they would have been way more prominent in the third book. And I didn't get that. The whole thing with the war, 
the war is not over. But you know what, guys? We're gonna win that war when it happens. Yeah. Yeah. It... I was like, what? It almost kind of felt like she was like, meh. I feel like I'm kind of done with this series now. I want to move on. All of it just felt really anticlimactic for me. For me too. We're talking about how eh, it is. It's making me want to like downgrade it even more by star I, rating. I know, but, but, but I did actually enjoy it. Let's yeah. talk about the good stuff. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so there's the bad. Yeah. <laughs> I really liked all the scenes in the cave. And I like when Akiva and Karu finally got together. Except they didn't actually get to do anything. Yeah. At like forever. And yeah. <laughs> like, you'll never. It was so it's weird. It's never gonna happen. Okay, but it will in the future. But just not. Not cake, in cake, the now. Cake for later. Let's not move on to the good stuff. I did okay. not ship Akiva and Karu anymore in this book. I was really. We didn't get to see the cathedral souls get resurrected. No, which I was super bummed about that. And, me too. And. Brimstone never came back, which I knew he was going to, because I felt like the only way that they could be together is if Brimstone was actually alive, but no, he wasn't, but they still wanted to be together, and literally they have only ever been together, even in both of her lives, for like three months at tops. Yeah. Then he killed her family, and she's gonna forgive him for it. I'm like... I just can't. Okay, here's my thing. Brimstone, I'm actually okay with, with his situation him not coming back okay i didn't think that he actually killed brimstone he burned the portals and he thought he killed them yes. when they all went down into the underground to save the souls that's when brimstone actually died was uh -huh. when the armies came and attacked him which is because of akiva and his actions gotcha i didn't look at it as akiva actually being the one but that he was killed burning him. all the but, doors i mean yeah basically yes <laughs> so I not mean, basically yes like that is what happened and then when anyone would get hurt or die i would be like they're coming back ziri you're coming back akiba gets stabbed in the heart with a knife and then he didn't <laughs> he just like turned invisible they never really explained that part was that something that he did on his own or was that something where the stallions were like no. mm -hmm. <laughs> He didn't even know what had happened. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, explain it. Okay, okay, also, I am still really disappointed that we never got the full explanation of the resurrection. Of what res- Oh, yeah. We get it. There's a pain tithe, and- You have teeth. You have teeth. And you, like, and order necklace, them in, like, gems. A certain order. Yeah. And then, bloop. And there's, then a body. there's a body on the floor. But how do we get from ne teeth necklace to body? I, I just wanted some a little more explanation. Maybe yeah. that's the fantasy fan in me coming out. Sure. But like, explain your magic system, <laughs> Lainey Taylor. Explain it, please. Yeah. I understand there's a pain tithe, but like... How do you get from <sighs> necklace to body? Yes. And I just... Yeah. I don't think that's too much to ask for. No. Wow, are we just ragging on this series? We are. Now? I can't oh believe it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I don't... I really enjoyed the series, You gave the first book five stars. I did. I, lo I loved the first book. I did too. Because I thought it was just so and original. I look, I look back on it with fondness. But I you know too. what? This book is kind of this, forgettable. Yeah, the series it got worse as it went on. It did, unfortunately. Oh, and I yeah. hate to say that, but I actually did really enjoy the first part. I liked it. There was a time where I got I got teary-eyed, and that was when Karu was asking Laraz if she had gleaned his soul. Mm -hmm. When she started crying and was like, I don't know, I couldn't feel anything, and I was just singing. That got me. Oh, yeah. I, I really and did. And I sang. Did that make a difference? I know, and Karu was like, if... If she got him, like, I will sing to every soul so that she won't be embarrassed. This angel was in the river, this cold river, like, singing. And, I mean, that really touched me. That yeah, did. And me I, too. And I really do like them together. Yeah. But I did think it was pretty, like, oh, happy ending. Like, she it was, did get his because soul. because she's, in some parts, she's, Laraz is called a girl. Like, referred to as a girl. Yeah. She's been a warrior for decades. Why are you calling her a girl? And also, she's never had any sexual mm -hmm. interest in anyone no. ever, not male or female, but like Ziri, you know, after all of this time is the right is person the one for her. to, yeah. And it was just like, it was kind of... 
it's like, like she sure. wanted to wrap the characters up in a nice pretty bow yeah but not the whole thing so let's just leave the whole storyline undone yeah <laughs> you know like akiva and it's Kuro. like let's please and displease my fans <laughs> I don't mean to rag on it, though. I yeah. enjoyed this series. I do, too. I'm but glad I read it. Looking, I'm glad I read it. Looking back, I don't really... I mean, I say, like, I'll reread it physically sometime. Maybe not for quite a while. Yeah. At times, Lainey Taylor was really long-winded about what was happening in someone's brain. When she started doing that, I started getting really, like, bogged down. It felt like pages and pages of people thinking. Sometimes it could be really cool, but, like, it just didn't feel... Like the story. Her writing is great. Sometimes a little too flowery. Yeah. I wrote down a sentence. This is in the middle of a sentence. Taking in this stranger's musk of electric power. <laughs> stranger's musk of electric power. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I expected it to be more about the battle and this, and then they're like, we have a plan. And the reader does not find out about it until they go to Jael and it's like, psh, go away. And he's like, okay. And I was like, that's it? Yeah. Like, we don't really find out what happens on Earth when the angels leave. It was just, like, really anticlimactic. I think I want to give this book three stars now. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not what we intended <laughs> no. to come in. Uh, but, you know, this is why I really like talking things out with you. Yes. It's because, like, Bird Box. I rated Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. It's like three stars, did but you? every time three. we talk about it, I'm like, man, I, I freaking really love that, like that book. One thing that I did really like and yeah. was excited about was when they found the Gavriels in the... <gasps> and he had them in his violin. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. oh, they have wishes yeah. now. What are they going to do with them? And that was like really exciting yeah. to me. Also, I did think it was funny that she's one that Raz got oh, yeah, left yeah, onto yeah. and was like... We're best friends now. <laughs> Which I really like her voice for Rats Good. Yeah, it yeah. cracked me up every me time. And I was like, that's actually really fitting. Yeah. It was okay. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I But I, I was it. disappointed. I would still recommend the series. I would too. But knowing that it gets worse as it goes <laughs> on. <laughs> that feels so bad to say. I but actually say there that. were times when I was filled with a lot of emotion. Yeah. And really excited or scared. But, like, when it's all said and done and I look back on it, like, it just didn't, it wasn't, it didn't connect for me. And yeah. it was kind of, actually, kind of forgettable. And I feel bad about it because I, I mean, want to really like it. The first book, especially, I felt so yeah. connected to the characters. Yeah. And I was invested in the storyline. Yes. And what happens to them. Me and too. the second book, I was like, I still am. Not quite as much. <laughs> right. I still wasn't like Akiva and Karu in the second book. Is I think is when I kind of lost my. I was still like, oh, I hope you guys get together, but like I don't really care that much now. I remember you saying that, and I was like, yeah. what are you talking about? They should be together. But this book, I just didn't this feel book, it at all. This book, I just was like, meh. This is just our opinions of it, obviously. Totes. If you liked it, that's awesome. We yeah. have friends that have lo loved this series, yeah, yeah. even to the end. Oh yeah. Uh, it just didn't connect for us for some yeah. reason. If this series was continued, I don't think I would read it. Yeah, we had a discussion in our book club yes. Facebook page, and one of the girls had asked if we think that there's going to be another, another book, yeah. because it kind of seemed unfinished. They left it open-ended, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, if they do, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feel I the same really, way. It was so creative and cool. I mean, that first book was just so, so It was so cool. for me. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is not... It's and even the different. angels coming to Earth and, like, yeah. all the people freaking yeah, out. I thought, like, super cool. this is going to be awesome. But then we didn't really get anything from the Earth. We got, like, no. oh, the Vatican, yeah. Sure. And then, like, Eliza's crazy, you know, whatever. Yeah. But it was... Uh, Kind of Two black. stars. <laughs> yeah. I might stick with my... I don't know. I just... I don't even want to think about it anymore. Okay. Yeah. Let's just... You know, I, I'm just over it. We'll just give it some time. <laughs> I'm just over it. All right. I what? feel bad for saying that. Let's be done. But... Okay. That's it. Again, let us know your thoughts below. We would love to discuss. When you play the game of tomes. You read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. She needs washcloths, and it's it's a work of art. You are so cool. Thank you. You're the coolest person I know. Come over sometime, and we'll knit together. Okay. I tried to do a hat, too, for Spencer. I had to start over three times, because it got twisted somehow. Oh, yeah. I don't know yeah, how it yeah. did that. And then on the fourth time, I, I sucked it up into a vacuum cleaner, and I said I was done forever. <laughs> you on purpose? No. <laughs> I swear to God.
<clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> that was in my head. Let's talk about sex, baby. Talk about you and me. Don't be mean.